All right, so this is what's left of this burrito I just made. Simple breakfast burrito, which is eggs and chorizo. Put a little bit of peppers and onions in there, melted some cheese. Did it on the Blackstone griddle. I haven't cooked on the griddle in a while. Um, I kind of dusted it off, got some propane, hooked it up, fired it up. Came out great, so stick around. All right, so before we go out to the Blackstone, I got some produce I'm gonna prep here. I got a half an onion, I'm gonna give it a dice. Then I got a couple serranos. Uh, I find it easier to slice them like this, or to dice them up like this. You just cut them in thin strips like that. Leave it on the stem, uh, it's pretty easy to do. Then I got an avocado, I'm gonna make an avocado salsa. We're just gonna open this beautiful avocado right here. Take the seed out. And then get your favorite salsa, I got a salsa verde. Um, you know, it's just jarred. I usually make it myself, but I find it, you know, I'm just making one burrito, so it's pretty easy to do it like this. So just get it in a blender. Throw your avocado in there. A couple of serranos. Just give it a blend. And there you got some easy avocado salsa. And then I'm using habanero jack cheese. I'm gonna use about half this block. I'm gonna give it a great. Got some nice cheese right there. This is um, the chorizo I'm gonna use. If you don't know what chorizo is, it's basically a Mexican spiced pork sausage. Um, if you want, you can use beef sausage too. And then I got three eggs right there. Got our chorizo on there. Got our veg. We're just gonna, you know, sweat this out a little bit, let it go for about five, 10 minutes, let everything get cooked up. That's basically the bulk of the work that you're gonna do. Throw a little bit of salt and pepper on there, just to get it seasoned. And we're just gonna mix it up a little bit and get everything kind of incorporated and mixed together. Oh, and also just to mention, if these, you know, if these peppers are too spicy for you, if you don't like the serrano peppers, you could always use jalapenos, which are a little less spicy. And I guess you could use bell peppers. I mean, you know, I guess you could use bell peppers, but you know, you gotta have a little bit of spiciness in there, I think. But um, yeah, just another alternative if you want. So you got all this cooked up right here. Everything's pretty much done. We're just gonna throw in some eggs. Just give those a crack. And you don't, you don't even need to throw eggs in like a little bowl and mix them up ahead of time. You can just do it like this, it's way easier. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of having a griddle. You could just, you know, do things on the fly like this. Just throw it on. Got our big old tortilla. Gonna warm it up, give it a flip. Then we got our habanero jack cheese. Just gonna put it on there. And then I'm gonna kind of fold it over like a quesadilla. Just give it, kind of give it a little bit of a head start and let it get kind of melted a little bit. You don't have to do it all the way. Um, but just let it get kind of going. See a little bit, a little bit gooey right there. And then we're just gonna throw the filling in. Got that little blackstone, little blackstone cutting board. Got the whole filling on top. Then I'm just gonna let this sit for about you know two minutes on the folded side, let it get nice and crisp like that. Let it get some color. Then basically as soon as I flip it over, I'm gonna put some more cheese on top. Do the dome technique, put a little bit of steam in there. Then about a minute later, you got some nice melty cheese. You got that cheese crust kind of like sticking to the bottom, which is pretty good. Avocado salsa, a little cilantro, and some cotija cheese. You could use queso fresco if you want to. It's a little less salty. Boom, there it is. Nice breakfast burrito. Give you guys kind of like a um, little cross-section shot right there. All right, so just to recap, we got the eggs and chorizo in here. We got the serranos and onions, that melted habanero cheese with avocado salsa. And then we finished it off with a little bit of um, cilantro and cotija. And that's it. All right, so any of you guys that watch the channel, usually you know that I like to make a bunch of different stuff, whether it's grilling or barbecue, 
It could be pastas, tacos, burritos, whatever it is, comfort food stuff. Um, if you guys got recommendations or any requests, go ahead and let me know. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.